We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we're making one of my family's favorites, a chicken goulash, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. Here I have purchased a half of a chicken. And what I have done, I have cut it up. And now I'm going to remove some of the fat out of my chicken. And then I'm going to rinse my chicken off well. And then I'm going to add it to my pot. Here I have filled my pot up with water. I'm adding enough water so that I don't have to add any more. So when I add my pasta, that's it. So what I'm doing now, I'm adding my chicken pieces. Now, chopping up some onion. It all depends on how you like your uh, onion and your bell peppers. So what I'm doing, I'm just chopping them up into pretty large pieces. You can chop them up into smaller pieces if you prefer. Now, adding my onions and bell peppers to my chicken. And I'm adding some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. and salt. Here we're stirring our chicken and our seasonings together. This is how we want our chicken to simmer. Uh, I cooked mine for like 50 minutes and then it was good to go. Okay, we're gonna be right back. Okay, y'all, our chicken is done and it's ready. I'm showing you how this wing is falling apart and so it's ready. So um, it is gonna cook some more as we add the rest of our ingredients. Here I'm adding some Rotel tomatoes. We're gonna stir the tomatoes in. So now we're going to add our large elbow pasta. With this recipe, you do not have to use the complete bag. As you can see, this is a large pot. And so I'm making enough for uh, some extra guests, okay? You can always adjust this recipe. Here, I'm uh, stirring it around to make sure everything is blended together. As you can see, it has started boiling. And so we're gonna let this boil at a rapid simmer so that our pasta can get done. Okay, as y'all can see, our pasta is ready. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some tomato paste in there. This is how I'm blending my tomato paste into my pasta. Make sure to mix it in well. Okay, here I'm tasting to see if it has enough tomato paste in it, and it didn't, y'all. And so I'm using another can of tomato paste. The second can gives the goulash 
a richer tomato taste and that's what I'm looking for. Here I decided to use another can of Rotel tomatoes because I love tomatoes y'all but it's up to you if you don't want in that many tomatoes in yours you do not have to use them. As y'all can see there are some bones inside my goulash that's why I didn't take them out after they cooked because they will soon fall off and you can remove them. Now is the time to remove both bones and skin from your goulash. Here I'm giving my goulash one last taste to make sure it has uh, enough salt or black pepper or whatever. This is the time to remove the bones and the skin and then our chicken goulash is good to go okay I'm gonna be back with the final result okay y'all here's our final result this is one of my family's favorite uh, dish and I hope y'all enjoy it we decided to share it with y'all my daughter Amber asked me to do it as a celebration video of my 100k subscribers and y'all I am so grateful for you all for standing by me praying with me and sticking by me supporting me and just being there for me and so we decided to share this recipe with y'all so um I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, letting y'all know we will be celebrating our pre-Easter crawfish ball on April the 3rd. So y'all mark y'all calendars. We're going to do that and we're going to be celebrating our 100K subscribers and my husband's birthday. And we have something else to share with y'all, which is a secret. So mark your calendars for April the 3rd. Hope to see you there. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all. Well, like always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.